Hello! In Windows 10, okay, we don't have this network flyout as easy as it used to be before. In Windows 8, 8.1, we click over here and we get this and we would have a list of our Wi Fi's. This computer hasn't got a Wi Fi, it's connected to a LAN, so it doesn't have a Wi Fi network, but we'd have the list of Wi Fi's over here where you could just click on them and then basically say connect and you would have been able to connect to different Wi Fi's quite easily. However, there is a registry workaround. Okay, basically the link of where exactly, well not the link, but the exact location of where in the registry it is will be, should be provided in the, in the post. Okay, basically what we need to do is open up our registry editor. Okay, how do we do that? Quite a few ways. One is by pressing the Windows button and the R button and we get the run. Type regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Click OK, and that basically will then give the administrator prompt, and it opens up the registry editor. OK, then we need to go to basically HP local machine, then software, then Microsoft. OK, and then it's Windows. We'll, let's enlarge this, make it a little bit easier. OK, then it's all the way down to here, Windows current version, the one that doesn't have the space in it, okay, then all the way down to control panel, and then network, okay, and we need to change this little fellow, normally it's a 1, when you get it straight off, and then when you click on here, it opens up this thing, okay, our PC settings, which is a little bit of a long-winded way of just changing the Wi-Fi. Okay, so once we're here, we need to make sure that we actually have permission to open this, okay? You might need to click over here and say take ownership, okay? We're running over here as admin, so we just change the permissions, go to advanced, okay? Make sure that your username is over here, okay? It starts off by saying trusted installer. How do we do it? We click on change and then type in your username. In this case, we are Windows 10 Ninja, as the website says. Okay, check names. Okay, it would have found it. Okay, Windows. If I type it correctly, there we go. And now you click OK. That's all there. Okay, and then you basically click OK over here. Apply. It's all fine. Okay, make sure we go to Administrators and click full control we need to have full control because this is an administrator okay click okay once we've done it it allows us to change this value and all we do is just double click on him or we try to double click on him and then it should work if we put him as a zero let's replace fan we click over here and now we get our little network fly out okay and if we want to put him back we basically put them back to one. Okay, click over there and we get the PC settings. Okay, now if we want to put this back to the original, we click over here. We're going to click on permissions. Okay, and click on administrators. Okay, get rid of full control. Click on Advanced, okay, put him back. It was a trusted installer. You would think just typing in trusted installer would work, but actually it doesn't. It's NT space service backslash trusted installer. Okay, happy. There we go. That's now happily put back. Click on OK. Click on OK. And basically, we can shut down the regedit, and we have basically restored it back to its original. I kind of like the network flyout, though. Thank you for watching.